sure you're not a god? What would I be the god of? The impossible. Get ready for Gods of Egypt 2, because it seems like the movie is on its way. For those unfamiliar, the original film Gods of Egypt is a fantasy action movie from 2016 directed by Alex Proyas. It presents a fantastical version of ancient Egyptian deities and features actors like Nikolai Coster Waldau, Brenton Thwaites, Chadwick Boseman, Elodie Young, Courtney Eaton, Rufus Sewell, Gerard Butler, and Jeffrey Rush. The story revolves around the Egyptian god Horus, teaming up with a mortal thief on a quest to rescue his love and save the world from Set. Now, let's delve into what we know about the upcoming sequel. In the first film, set in ancient Egypt, where gods coexist with mortals, King Osiris is killed by his envious brother Set during the coronation of Osiris's son, Horus. Set defeats Horus, taking his eyes and declaring himself the new king. He commands humanity to pay riches for passage into the afterlife. A year later, with much of Egypt under Set's control, Zaya, a slave to Set's chief architect, Urshu, provides plans for Set's pyramid to her lover, Beck. Using the plans, Beck infiltrates Set's treasure vault, stealing one of Horus's eyes. However, he and Zaya are captured by Urshu. In their escape, Urshu kills Zaya with an arrow. Beck takes her body and the eye to the exiled Horus, promising to help find the other eye if he brings Zaya back to life. They seek the divine vessel of Horus's grandfather, Ra. Ra, neutral in the conflict with Set and engaged in a war against the shadow beast Apophis, threatening to devour the world, does not restore Horus's power, but allows him to take a vial of divine waters to weaken Set. Ra explains that Horus's loss of power stems from not fulfilling his destiny, which Horus believes involves avenging his parents' deaths. Set asks Hathor to guide him to the underworld, but she refuses and joins Beck and Horus. They devise a plan to infiltrate Set's pyramid, enlisting Thoth to solve the riddle of the Guardian Sphinx. Overcoming obstacles, they reach the source of Set's power. However, Set ambushes them, destroying the divine water and taking Thoth's brain. Horus manages to save Hathor and Beck. Hathor invokes Anubis to transport Beck to the underworld and sacrifices herself by offering her bracelet as payment for Zaya's journey to the afterlife, resulting in her exile to the underworld. In the climax, Set absorbs Thoth's brain, Osiris's heart, Horus's eye and wings from Nephthys. He confronts Ra on his solar barge, where Ra reveals that Set's mistreatment was a test to prepare him as the defender of the world against Apophis. Displeased with this destiny, Set decides to destroy the afterlife to gain immortality. He overpowers Ra, using Ra's spear to cast him off the barge, and releases Apophis to consume the mortal and underworld realms. As Apophis attacks, the gates to the afterlife are closed. Zaya, having refused Hathor's gift, encourages Beck to return to the mortal world and help Horus stop Set. While Horus battles Set atop an obelisk, Beck defeats and kills Urshu. Beck then removes Horus's other eye from Set's armor, mortally wounding himself and falling from a great height. Horus, regaining his power, saves Beck and flies him to safety realizing his true identity is to protect his people. With renewed strength, Horus outmaneuvers and kills Set. Discovering Ra wounded in the ether, Horus returns his spear, allowing Ra to repel Apophis and Anubis and reopen the gates. A child returns Horus's other eye, and Horus lays the deceased Beck in Osiris's tomb beside Zaya. Ra, impressed by Horus's deeds, offers to bestow any power upon him, Horus asks for Beck and Zaya to be brought back to life, and Ra grants his wish. The other gods are restored, except for Horus's parents, who had already passed into the afterlife. Horus is crowned king and declares that access to the afterlife will be granted based on good deeds in life. Beck becomes the chief advisor and gives Horus Hathor's bracelet. Horus leaves to rescue her from the underworld. In a hypothetical Gods of Egypt 2, the story could unfold with the Egyptian gods, now led by Horus, facing a new and formidable threat to the balance of their world. This adversary could either be another powerful deity or a force that challenges the gods' dominion over Egypt. 
The narrative might explore internal conflicts within the divine realm, introducing political intrigue, jealousy, or conflicting agendas among the gods, placing Horus in a challenging position to maintain order. A quest-driven plot could emerge, with the gods embarking on a journey to retrieve lost artifacts or mystical objects crucial to preventing a catastrophic event. Additionally, the sequel might delve into Egyptian afterlife mythology as Horus undertakes a perilous quest to rescue Hathor from the underworld, confronting entities like Anubis along the way. The storyline could also expand on lesser-known aspects of Egyptian mythology, introducing new gods, creatures, or realms. Alternatively, a rebellion in the mortal realm, inspired by Beck's actions, could force the gods to confront their relationships with humans. For a more ambitious approach, the sequel might explore a crossover with gods from other pantheons, leading to alliances and conflicts and a broader exploration of various mythological elements. It's important to emphasize that these ideas are speculative, and the actual storyline would depend on the creative choices made by the filmmakers. While the cast for Gods of Egypt 2 remains speculative, envisioning potential actors for key roles could add excitement to the hypothetical sequel. Assuming the return of key characters, Nikolai Koster Waldau might reprise his role as Horus, the Egyptian god. Elodie Young may again portray Hathor, the goddess of love, who embarks on her own journey or faces new challenges. Brenton Thwaites could potentially return as Beck, the mortal thief, with his character playing a pivotal role in the unfolding events. Introducing new characters could involve casting for other deities or mythical beings, with actors like Oscar Isaac or Javier Bardem bringing their talent to the divine ensemble. The sequel might also explore alliances or conflicts from gods from different pantheons, leading to exciting casting choices such as Tessa Thompson or Idris Elba. These casting suggestions are purely speculative and based on the assumption that the sequel would maintain a diverse and talented ensemble to bring the mythical world of Egypt to life once again. Gods of Egypt faced significant challenges and criticism upon its release. The film received negative reviews from critics and struggled at the box office, grossing $150.7 million against a $140 million budget, resulting in a substantial financial loss for the studio, estimated to be up to $90 million. The movie earned five nominations at the 37th Golden Raspberry Awards. In response to pre-release concerns about historical accuracy, director Alex Proyas emphasized that the film was a fantasy rather than a historical depiction. That wraps up today's video. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for the next one. Feel free to share your suggestions for future videos in the comments.